You've asked, Cody, is there a water shortage in Las Vegas? Well, let's go find out. I'm inside the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. From Southern Highlands, I took the 215 East all the way till it ended, took the Lake Mead Parkway, kept going east. On the GPS, the closest place we are is the Lake Mead Government Wash. And from there, I parked my Tesla on the top and we walked down the hill about 15 minutes to this location. Where I'm standing was once filled with water. So we're actually under the water and let's go all the way down to check out that boat down there. I am here at the water level and as you can see behind me, this is the diff another angle of the sunken boat that you can see. Right behind me is the water so I can't go um, any deeper than this. But along the way, you guys, take a look. I found some fish bones and there's a ton of seashells lying all around. So again, this used to be the bottom of Lake Mead and part of the Lake Mead Reservoir. In this video, I will be sharing with you important facts about what's really happening here at Lake Mead and how the water shortage is impacting not only Las Vegas and Nevada, but all of our neighboring southwestern states. In addition, I will also be sharing with you all the conservation efforts that we are doing here in Las Vegas and Nevada, how we are coping with the drought and the future of Las Vegas. Oh, by the way, if we haven't met, konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist, helping you find your new home here in Las Vegas and Henderson. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Watch till the very end so you can find out more about what's really going on here in Lake Mead. That footage you just saw of me visiting Lake Mead National Recreation Area is very concerning. Look at that sunken boat and look at that water level from what it used to be and what is right now. This is very concerning and that's why I decided to make this video because not only do I want to share with you the facts of what's really going on, I wanted to share with you the solutions and what we have been doing here in Las Vegas for over two decades. What's really going on? Let's look at some statistics. On August 16th, 2020, the federal government declared a tier two water reduction on the Colorado River. This will limit the amount of water Southern Nevada will be allowed to withdraw from Lake Mead beginning in January of 2023. This comes one year after the federal government, prompted by the low water levels in Lake Mead, issued a water shortage declaration on the Colorado River. In January 2022, Southern Nevada's water allocation was reduced by 7 billion gallons. Starting in January 2023, the allocation will be reduced by an additional 1.1 billion gallons for a total of 8.1 billion gallons. Our 2023 allocation will be 275,000 acre feet of water, 4,000 acre feet less than our 2022 allocation of 279,000. The American West is facing its most severe drought in human history. Research suggests conditions are drier now than they have been for at least 1,200 years and are compounded by the effects of the climate change. Let's take a look at this map. It's a satellite map of Lake Mead comparing from 2000 to 2021 and then comparing that to 2022. As you can see in this picture, Lake Mead is full. You can see that dark blue color and then going to 2021 that has decreased significantly. The color of the water is changing into that blue green color and then even more so in 2022. This problem with the water shortage is not just Las Vegas and Nevada's problem. It's actually going to be impacting Arizona and California. All of our neighboring states uses Colorado River as the water supply and Lake Mead being the biggest water reservoir is the reservoir for the water supply for our surrounding states. Interesting fact, did you know that with the recent monsoon season that we experienced here in Las Vegas, Lake Mead actually rose in the water level? Let's see by how much. On July 27th, the lake's water level was at 1,040.71 feet, the lowest that has been since 1930s. The area was then hit by the wettest monsoon season Las Vegas Valley has seen in a decade. So from July 27th to 
August 15th, the lake level actually rose by 18 inches, currently at 1,042.29 feet. Lake Mead is currently at 27% capacity. Let's talk about solutions. Now, what are we gonna do about this? The good news is that for the last two decades, we knew about this issue and this problem with the drought. We, in Las Vegas and Nevada, have been working for the last two decades on conserving water. Southern Nevada's commitment to conservation has resulted in 48% decline in per person water use per day since 2002, despite the addition of more than 750,000 new residents. Did you know that 99% of the water used here in Las Vegas are recycled? Here are some water conservation efforts that has been implemented. Number one, irrigation system. Did you know that in Las Vegas, we have a set irrigation schedule for every season? Currently, irrigation systems are scheduled for three times a day of watering. There's absolutely no watering on Sundays, no exceptions. The Las Vegas Water District people are going around to different communities and making sure that there's no water irrigation being turned on on Sundays. And if you do, you actually get a penalty and a warning. Number two, replacing grass with turf. A lot of HOAs, including Summerlin, have decided to take an initiative to replace real grass with turf, especially on areas like on the freeway where basically that grass is not being utilized. You can find grass and real grass at parks and hiking trails and definitely areas for pets, but areas that are more decorative have been changed into turf. Number three, Pool regulations. As of September 1st, there is a new code where you are not able to build a brand new home in your resident more than 600 square feet in size. That limits the amount of water that will be used for that particular pool. Now that is definitely a great initiative to put restrictions on so that you're not wasting too much water on a pool. Number four, reduction on the water flow for new homes. Especially in Summerlin West, all the new home builders are starting a new initiative where they're controlling and reducing the amount of water flow that you have in all of your sinks and bathrooms. Number five, prohibiting new golf course development. We have a lot of golf courses here in Las Vegas. Golf courses take a lot of consumption on water, especially when they have to seed the golf courses every year, grow new grass. By limiting the number of golf courses is definitely a great initiative to conserve water. Rest assured, we're constantly working on additional water conservation efforts so that we can make sure we don't run out of water. With our efforts with scheduling irrigation, replacing grass with turf, restrictions on pool sizes, restrictions on new golf developments, and with the new technology of high efficiency and low flow fixtures, our state is continuously providing measures to prevent water shortage. For more videos about Las Vegas and would like to know more about Las Vegas before you make your move out here, make sure you like, subscribe, and engage with me. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure you hit that notification bell so you're made aware of my weekly content. Can't wait to see you on the next one.